Cybersecurity is one of the most in-demand fields today, but landing a job in this field isn't as straightforward as cracking a Wi-Fi password at a coffee shop. If you're struggling with cybersecurity job applications, you're in the right place. Today, I'm breaking down the secrets to standing out and securing your dream job in cybersecurity without needing to hack the system. Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Luke, and I've been a recruiter for over 13 years, helping people navigate their career journeys, especially in high demand fields like cybersecurity. Today, we're diving into the secrets of excelling in cybersecurity job applications. Something I know a thing or two about after reviewing thousands of resumes and helping candidates land their dream job. Here's the deal. With rising cyber threats, increasingly complex security systems and a growing lack of awareness among users, the need for skilled professionals has never been greater. Yet with all this demand, so many people are still left wondering, why is it so hard to break in? Well, the truth is that many applicants focus on the tech but they forget one important thing. You're still applying for a job, you're not trying to crack the Enigma code. Today, we're gonna to explore how you can stand out and avoid the most common application mistakes. The cybersecurity industry faces challenges that could make even the most seasoned professionals break a sweat. We're talking about constantly evolving threats, from phishing scams that even your grandma might fall for, to ransomware attacks that make businesses rethink everything. Add to that the complexity of today's security solutions, and it's no wonder job seekers feel overwhelmed. And then there's the human factor, where let's be honest, the weakest link is often people. Now let's break down the key cybersecurity roles and applications that employers are looking for and how you can frame your skills to fit those demands. Security analyst. These folks are like the detectives of cybersecurity, monitoring systems, analyzing risks, and responding to incidents. If you like piecing together clues and saying, I knew it, when things go wrong, this might be your role. Pen testers. Think of them as the ethical mischief makers. They find the holes in a company's defenses before someone with bad intentions does. Security engineers, they're the architects building the defenses that protect against all those sneaky tricks. They design everything from firewalls to encryption systems and keep them running smoothly. SOC analysts, these analysts work in high pressure environments, monitoring security alerts in real time and responding to incidents as they happen. So if you thrive under pressure and love solving puzzles quickly, a SOC analyst role might be your calling. They are often the first responders when a cyber incident occurs, making critical decisions on how to contain and mitigate threats. Governance, Risk and Compliance, GRC. These roles focus on making sure the company isn't just secure, but also following the rules. With data protection laws popping up everywhere, this area is becoming essential. Think of them as the hall monitors of cybersecurity, making sure everyone's in line. Now, if you're thinking, great, I just need to throw these fancy titles on my resume. Hold up, it's not that simple. Remember, recruiters are looking for specific skills and experiences that match those roles. You can't just slap on ethical hacker because you once cracked your neighbor's Wi-Fi password. So how do you actually get noticed in this crowded field? Let me give you some tips that can make all the difference in getting your resume out of the maybe later pile and into the let's talk stack. One, tailor your resume like a pro. Don't just list every tech buzzword you know. Highlight the specific skills and certifications that are most relevant to the job. Did you complete a pen testing course? Lead with that if you're applying for a pen tester role. Employers want to see that you're a match, not a jack of all trades. Two, quantify your achievements. Numbers stand out. So instead of saying monitored networks for threats, say monitored network traffic and reduced incident response time by 30%. Quantifiable results make you seem like a result orientated candidate, not just someone who knows the lingo. Three, optimize for applicant tracking systems, also known as ATS. Before a human eye sees your resume, it's probably been scanned by software. Certainly some of the larger companies use this. So make sure you include relevant keywords from the job posted. But here's the trick, do it naturally. If your resume reads like a dictionary of tech terms, it's obvious and it doesn't help. Now I have another video that I've done on this. It goes into it a lot more detail and I'll leave the link below. Four, certifications matter. Cybersecurity certifications like CISSP and the CompTIA Security Plus are often the golden tickets that get your application past the first stage. Don't overlook the power of adding these credentials but don't overload it either. Make sure you prioritize the ones that are most aligned with the job that you're applying for. Five, craft a great cover letter. Yes, cover letters can still matter. This is your chance to tell a brief story about how your experience and skills fit the role you're applying for. A great cover letter is less, dear hiring manager, I'm perfect for this job. Here's how my experience aligns with exactly what you're looking for. It shows that you've done your homework. It gives an additional opportunity to get your application to stand out from the rest. 
Here's a real world example. I helped a candidate revamp their application. They had the skills, but they were underselling themselves. Their resume was a wall of text, no highlights, no metrics. So we focus on adding specific achievements like reducing phishing incidents by 25%. And then we structured their experience around the exact role they were targeting. Within weeks, they went from silence to multiple interviews. The moral of the story is presentation does matter. So what's the takeaway? Yes, the cybersecurity field is competitive. Make no mistake about it. But with the right approach, you can stand out. You can raise your chances of getting asked for interviews. Focus on tailoring your resume, highlight your certifications and crafting a narrative that aligns with the role that you're applying for. It's not just about what you know, it's about how you show it. Now it's your turn. What's been the most challenging part of applying for cybersecurity roles? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always curious to hear about your experiences. It also gives other viewers a chance to learn from your experience. Remember, landing a cybersecurity job isn't about hacking the system. It's about hacking the application process. And if you're serious about leveling up your career, make sure to subscribe for more tips. And check out this video next where I dive into the must-know programming languages for cybersecurity. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.